everyone. Welcome to our home. I am Princess and he's laughing at me. And I'm the Goob and this is Gulps, Gulps and Games. Games. The weekly show where we have some gulps, give a little background on them, and we play a game, give a little how to on it. Mm -hmm. um, this week uh, we got Legro Organic Beer Company. Mm. From Chicago, Illinois. So they were founded in 2016. Legro Organic Beer Company is the result of three brothers cultivating their passion for great beer and a sustainable lifestyle into Chicago's first USDA certified organic brewery. Cool. At Legro Organic Beer Company, they have three guiding principles source pure ingredients provide premium product, and operate with uncompromised values. Devotion to those three deep-rooted principles guides everything they do, from sourcing ingredients to recipe development, and even to the brewing process itself. Hmm. They get asked all the time, why organic? And their answer is simple, because ingredients matter. Not only are the ingredients essential in making uh, sure what's in your glass is the absolute best, the ingredients and where they come from also helps them to do their part to support a sustainable and regenerative agriculture. Hmm. Every can, case, and keg of grow beer incrementally increases the value of the um, of organic grains and hops which they buy from farmers who are committed stewards of the soils and watersheds of their land. By brewing and selling their beers, they get to contribute to the positive feedback loop, which functions like a reinvestment for the resilience of their local and regional food systems. Something that is pretty... Sorry Put your about phone that. on. Disturb. Do not disturb. Like you always yell at me about. I thought it was. Uh-huh. Something that is pretty important to them over at LeGro Beer Company. As a small family-owned independent brewery, they are committed to their Seeds to Suds cause to deliver on the dream of producing beer that is big. Big in integrity, big in quality, and big in taste. They know that at the end of the day, a great tasting beer is all that matters. Mm -hmm. And yes. as brewers, they believe that a great tasting beer is one that is pure, premium, and uncompromised. All right. That was a long one. Well, I mean, that was just their entire story. I figured, yeah. why break it up? Um, since we only have the one. So, the beers that we have today, we have uh, their organic lager and the organic citra, which is... Uh, a blonde. Yeah. Um, ha ha, I'm blonde today. Go ahead and start with that. There's <laughs> nothing on the can. No, so. there isn't. All right. Citra blonde. Refreshing, refined, uncompromised. Orange zest showcased through pure ingredients and finished off with a bubbly, smooth taste. Ooh. Pairs the best with seafood, pasta, lemon, chicken. Oh, we're having chicken for dinner. And, ooh, a key lime pie. Ooh. Hmm. Don't have a key lime pie, though. Why don't you go ahead and open it and pour it? And... Well, they got integrity. 
Integrity of it, yeah. Integrity. Mm-hmm. This is really good, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I wasn't thinking organic beer was going to taste good. <laughs> but this one's good. Organic just means that they don't use any chemicals, so I don't, it should taste, probably taste better than if they um, made the same one inorganic. <laughs> yep. So I got here is the lager, crisp, clean, and uncompromised. Bready malt sweetness complemented by a delicate hop aroma results in a light-bodied, drinkable brew. Food, I smell this. Sorry. Food pairings, shellfish, pasta without cream or meat sauce. Grilled pork and spicy Latin or Mexican food. Ooh, we like that. Smell this. You can't really smell it. You smell mine. Mine smells. There must be something wrong with my sniffer because I can't <laughs> smell it. Well, here, smell this. No thanks. <laughs> I put deodorant on today, so it won't Thankfully. smell. Thankfully. Mm. Now I gotta take another drink. No offense, the girl. Just I'm partial to yingling, so <laughs> you can't have everything. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, to me, like if if I'm stuck here in Michigan where I can't get the greatest lager in the world, it's kind of a close second. Here, taste mine. Maybe maybe yours just didn't get mixed. Just take a sip out of mine, or maybe you got a COVID variant. Don't say that. Well, you can't smell. You can't taste. I guess I can taste that a little bit more. I'll taste this just fine. Okay, so we're talking about better ingredients for the beer. Um, so uh, lots of ingredients, lots of good ingredients. What else do you need? Lots of good ingredients to make? Ramen. So our game this week is Ramen Fury. Uh, this game looked cool because it's in a little ramen package, so I thought I'd, I wanted to get it and try it out. And what's also really cool is that when you open it up, the box looks just like your little freeze-dried ramen noodles. Mm -hmm. So this is a card game, and it's for uh, two to five players. Oh, you didn't even take those out? I did, but I put them back in for easy storage. Oh, I see. And what are these supposed to be? Those are spoons. Oh. Little, little spoon they for... They look like little tadpoles. <laughs> well, little little spoons. tadpoles swimming around. <laughs> swish, swish, swish. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. Is Chuck this week? I don't know. I don't remember what we named him. Jimmy. Jimmy. Thanks, J Jimmy Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So each player gets two spoons and three bowls of ramen. So now the bowls have one side that's got the bowl and the other. Here, let me zoom back in again. Okay, Jimmy Chuck. So what one side has the bowls with food in it, and the other side is empty. You flip mm -hmm. it over when you eat your ramen. Okay. So we each get three bowls. Let's take a quick 
moments to say you must be 21 to drink in America. Drink responsibly. We're not sponsored by anyone here. Well, I guess we sponsor, we sponsor the show. <laughs> right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> had to take care of the legal needs. Each player then gets three ingredient cards. So you're going to put your bowls of ramen out in front of you and your soup spoon somewhere where you can use them. You then flip over four ingredients in like a, uh, what do they call it? The pantry. So you form your pantry. Um, give me, give me one moment. I'm gonna reread over these, or I'll get quick. It's been a few Let's days. See. All right. You got it. Yep. I, I, I have re, re, uh, remembered all, all of right. what I read. So the object of the game is to get the most. You get points by putting ingredients in your bowls of ramen. Bowls of ramen can only have five ingredients in them. And if you want to, um, you can empty all the ingredients out of it if you think you can go for more points. But you can't just take one of the ingredients out. Okay. There are, um, each of the things are, um, are different. Are, they're either meat or vegetable. Some of them, like the tofu, tofu here counts both as protein and vegetable. Tofu, tofu, to mean? tofu, tofu, <laughs> tofu counts as both protein and um, and uh, vegetable. Um, scallions are just vegetable. Okay. Um, all the you have to have a flavor in your bowl of ramen in order to eat it. So this one has a soy sauce flavor, um, and to score, depending on um, how many unique. Uh, vegetables you have in it, you get, if you only have one unique veggie, you get two points, five points, nine points, or 14 points. So if you do four different, so you can't have all four scallions, that only counts as one unique vegetable. But if you have four different ones, you can get 14 points for that bowl. Okay. You can only have five ingredients in each bowl. There is, um, a, there is the nori garnish, um, this one right here. Uh, it can be used to make any bowl of ramen more colorful and delicious, and you get one extra point for it, but it doesn't count as protein or vegetable, um, and so it might just take up space in your bowl. Uh, if this one is in the pantry, so we should probably read, it doesn't say to, but um, when when these ones are in the pantry, the player that plays is allowed to play them in other, uh, some, someone else's bowl. They can immediately play in anyone's bowl, and it doesn't count as their turn. Um, there's also chili peppers. Those, unless you have the Fury flavor, the chili peppers remove one point from your bowl of ramen. But if you have the Fury flavor, you actually gain points. Okay. Can we play that? No. Ugh. Because on your turn, there's six different things that you can do. Oh my god. You have to do two of them. And we don't even have a cheat sheet that says what we can do? No, it didn't, it didn't come with like an extra card for you. Oh. That's a bummer. Yeah, so that that's a, a thought for you, folks. Um, add add extra cards that are, you know, just what what they are supposed to do in your turn. So you can prep your ramen. Place any one ingredient from your hand into one of your bowls. Ingredients placed into bowls must always be placed on top of the other ingredients in the bowl. Note: chili peppers and nori garnish cards have their own special rules, which I already explained about. Um, ramen bowls may never have more than five ingredients placed into them and may not contain more than one flavor ingredient. So that's the sauce packets. Aww, only one flavor? Yep. That's sad. But you, you make it different with the ingredients. We can't have a, a magic a magic flavor where it's like all of them? No, because you won't get any points. That sounds delicious. No. You can draw. <laughs> you can either take a face-up card from the pantry or the top card of the ingredient deck. And you place it into your hand, and when a card is taken from the pantry, you immediately replace it with one from the deck. 
Again, if you draw a um, nori garnish or chili pepper, you're allowed to immediately play it in any player's bowl. So you don't play it in yours? Correct. Well, you can. Oh. Okay. Like, if you have the Fury flavor packet in your hand, you might want to play it. Okay. Um, if a player has more than five cards in their hand, they must immediately discard cards until they only have five. Spoon. That's when you use your tokens. You only get to do this twice through the whole game. Mm -hmm. Discard one of your spoon tokens and then take the top ingredient from any bowl belonging to any player, including yourself, and place the ingredient directly into one of your bowls or into your hand. So that's a way to get the top ingredient off if you want to get rid of one ingredient. Um, restock. If you don't like the cards that are in the pantry, you can discard all four of them and draw four new cards. Eat a bowl of ramen by flipping it to its finished side along with all the ingredients. A bowl must have one flavor ingredient and at least one other ingredient in it before it can be eaten. And so you don't have to have all five cards on it. You can have just the soy sauce flavor and the tofu. Get your two points and flip it over real quick. Okay. Because whoever eats all three of them first gets extra points. Um, and the game, the, the game ends. Empty all the ingredients from one of your ramen bowls into the discard pile. That's the, most, the sixth thing that you can do. So if you don't like the ingredients that are in it, you can empty the entire bowl out and start over again. So, to choose who goes first, the person who ate ramen last gets to go first. Yep. I have had Very, 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 <laughs> very long time. Yes. So I'm going to prep a bowl of, of ramen. I'm going to add soy sauce flavor to it. And then I'm going to also prep again, and I'm going to add tofu to that ramen. And so now that's the end of my turn. You should have had the little guys that came with it out on the table. They didn't come with it. Those, those, those... Sushi things? Sushi things didn't come with this? No. That's a different game? No, I just bought those. Oh, I assumed they came with the game. <laughs> Why'd you buy random sushi figurines? Uh, that was just one of the many things that was, uh... That See I... what I have to put up with, guys? <laughs> well, hang on. <laughs> so, um, so that's the end of my turn. So now it's your turn. So you do your actions. So like I said, you can just... Do I draw? Nope. You, draw is one of the moves that you can do. So you can draw draw one card or draw two cards, but you just, you can... Um, I can play this anywhere, right? Yep. The chili pepper, minus one point for him. Now that doesn't count as your as a turn either, because oh, it's a chili pepper. Nope, so you get to, you can... So that's one. Yep. And two. Yep, and now your turn's done. But it takes six turns. You only get to do two things. There's six different things oh, you can do. Oh, okay. But you can only do two of them. Oh, okay. Okay. So now, <laughs> now it's my turn. So I'm going to... I'm going to use a spoon and pick this up. And uh, since I have a chili pepper, um, I put it in my hand. I get to immediately play the chili and, pepper. And you can't use the spoon again after that? Yeah, the spoon's been used. Okay. Um, so that was one move, and for my second move, I'm going to draw. Now it's your turn. So I draw, right? Yep. And I played another chili pepper. Yeah, but that doesn't count because chili peppers are an auto play that don't, don't count towards your play, so you get to do one more thing. Oh, that's right. Yep, you said that. Yep. Yeah. So, and draw. Okay. Okay, right, I'm going to draw. And I'm going to use the spoon, and I'm just going to move that into there. So now I use both my spoons, so I can't use any more spoons, but... Okay, I'm going to use my spoon. Mm -hmm. That one's done. Okay. How many players do you 
is this? It's two to five. Okay, so that was one. You used the spoon. Oh yeah, that's right. Because playing it, and then I used the spoon, and then I played yep. it. Oh no, playing it doesn't count. Yeah, the chili pepper is an auto play. Okay, so this chicken flavor says pair six, three of a kind, ten. What's that mean? If you have a pair of mushrooms, you get six points. If you have three mushrooms, you get ten points. Oh, okay. I'm going to play Fury Flavor on this bowl and draw a card. And, um, so why is there a fire? Because now, since this has fire, I get two points for each one of those that's oh. in that bowl. Man. Okay. No, well, you laid it, you played it. <laughs> I... Ah. Ooh, shrimp. Nope, nope, you drew. That was one turn. Uh -huh, and then I you drew. drew. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put beef flavor in this pot of ramen and put corn in this ramen and now it's your turn. How do you win? I, I, you have to you have to get the most points. Okay. What do these numbers mean? Two, five, nine, fourteen. If for every unique, if you have one piece of meat in there, uh, you get a two. If you have two different types of protein in there, you get a five. If you have three different proteins, you get nine. And if you have four different proteins, you get fourteen. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to draw. But these are the proteins, aren't they? The flavor? No. The protein, see how the, I play oh, this? The Naruto okay. has protein symbol. The okay. corn has plant symbol. Okay. Your turn. Shrimp flavor. See, now in order to get score on this, if you have one piece of protein and one piece of plant, you get four, four. points. Uh -huh. If you have two proteins yep. and two plants, you get How do you know when the game's done? When one person eats all three of their bowls, the game ends. So when or, do you eat a bowl? That's one of the six things you can do on your turn. Oh. So, once so you, you want to wait until you get the most points. You want to wait until you have enough points. Okay. So I'm just going to draw. You don't need a spoon to eat a, eat a bowl? No. The okay. spoon is to move things from one to another. Okay. Oh, so I don't have to, I can't only just take off. I can like move this to that if I wanted to. The one that's on top, you can take it off and you can move it with a spoon. Oh. Discard one of your spoon tokens and then take the top ingredient from any bowl belonging to any player, including yourself. Place it included okay. directly into one of your bowls or into your hand. Oh, I can take it from you? Yes. Oh, okay. But only the one that's on top. Oh, okay. Okay. Are you done? Yeah, I've been done. Oh. This is the one. And this is two. Yep. I'm going to play. I'm going to draw this, and then I'm going to play this. And then this gets flipped over, and it's chicken flavor. Oh, what do we do with these? That's the pantry. You can draw from there if you don't want to oh. risk a mystery card. Well, you didn't. I say did. that. I did. And then when you draw from the you pantry. You did not. So that's one. And that's two. I'm going to play the scallions and then I'm going to eat this bowl of soup. Eat it. But you can only have five cards on a bowl, right? Yep, that was five. That's my turn. Okay.
You have to play that right away. No, you put it on the oh, that one. Okay. I did instead of being able to get the max amount of points, I was only able to get the smaller one. Okay. Now I'm gonna make a suggestion here uh, because we're learning. Mm -hmm. Since with that soy sauce um, or, or that shrimp or whatever that flavor is, mm -hmm. um, three of a kind of chicken, three of a kind gives you. The max amount of points, yeah. so you don't need to worry about putting any more things on there unless you could you can grab the nori garnish and add that for one extra point, oh. and then eat it. Or you can just eat it right now and you'll get ten okay. points for it. So that'll give you eleven points if you add that to it, okay. because there's no way for you to get more with that one. Okay. Okay. I'm going to draw a card, and I'm going to draw a card, and now it's your turn. And then I'm going to play this or pick this up. Yep. And then I can play it here? Yep. And so now on your next turn you can eat it with one of your moves. Oh. I do apologize if you keep hearing a bloop, 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 bloop. Uh, she must have received a text at some point. I don't know if it's picking it up from the other room or not. Because I also did not put it on Do Not Disturb Me. We're both bad. Yep. And I have six cards, so I have to discard something. We don't actually have a discard pile yet, so I'm just going to discard over here and draw another one. And you can discard? If you, get, if you get up to... Okay, let me go over these again. If you get up to more than five cards in your hand, you must immediately discard down to five. Oh, okay. If you want to use one of your moves, which is empty, if you don't like what's in your bowl, you can empty the bowl and, um, and start over again. So emptying would discard every ingredient that's in the bowl. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. Your turn. No, when you're reading directions, all I hear is wah, 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 wah. Okay, Charlie Brown. Until I'm actually playing the game. Oh, I'm going to eat this. Don't use the spoon. Oh, I just say I eat it? Yep, and you flip it over. All right, I eat it. Okay, look. Okay. Oh, flip it. Why does it matter if it's flipped over or not? Because it show you flip it over to show that you ate the bowl. Well, I'll See, leave the empty. bowl on top of it. I ate it. Nope. All right. And then you so get that's one more. No, nope, oh, okay. that's one thing. You well, I want to discard this. You don't discard just to discard. Oh, it's right. You gotta have more than five. Well, then I'll draw. Okay. I'm gonna draw. I have more than five, so I'm gonna discard. And I'm gonna draw. I have more than five, so I have to discard. And now it's your turn. I'm going to play this Naruto. I got to eat it, don't I? Well, you have five, so you do have to eat it. You did put two tofus, so you only would get nine points. Oh, that matters? I thought it just had to be meat. Nope, see how it says unique protein. So you have to have all four different oh. proteins. So now, now you're, yeah. So, I'm going to eat it. Okay. Flip the noodles over so it's the empty bowl. Oh, I guess I didn't realize there was that. Yep. How many turns was that? That was two. Okay. Man. Your turn. Alright, I'm gonna you don't get you drew and then you drew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna eat my last bowl. Oh, Thanks, babe. You won. So I won. So now we get to count up all our points. Everything in your hand just gets discarded, those don't count towards your points. Oh we already know this is nine. You um you earn for your finished ramen, you earn points for them. 
I was just going to ask that question. And this is 11. So I got 20. Oh, the game ends once any player has eaten their third bowl of ramen, and then each player gets one last turn. Oh. Sorry. So so that this one was not eaten, so you get one. No, and I put my card. I had those top two. Okay. So, um... Honestly, all you can do is play play that. And then I can eat draw. it. No, eat oh, it. Eat it. I should eat it. Eat it. Because I, I went it. out, so eat it. Eat it. So now eat you'll it. get those points, eat even though it's not very many. Eat it. All right. All right. So this is twenty. So this this one was beef flavor. So I get for all the unique things, which I had Naruto, Chashu, and um, eggs. That's only three, which would give me nine points. But because I have the chili peppers, I lose one. So this is eight points. I have a question. Yes. I didn't do either of that. So what, what happened? You there? have one protein, one plant. So you get four points. Oh, okay. I got 24 all together. I mean, eight. So this one, uh, this one was soy sauce. So all the unique veggies. I have three of those. So it'd be nine, but I have minus one from the chili peppers. So that became 8 again, so now yeah, it's 16. 16. Now this is the fun one, because she actually helped me out with a lot of these. So on the this one, I have the Fury flavor. So instead of minus 1, I get plus 2. So that's 2, 4, 6, 8. So that is 20 points. 20 points. I still won? I got 20. How many do you have? I have 24. How do you get 24 points? Unless I miscounted. Okay. Wait, no, I only had 20. Wait, no, this was 4, so 24. I think. 4. This one was 10 and 11, so that's um, 15. And this one was. Yep, because you got not. You got. Um, no, you had. Hey, you have 3. That one's 9. nine. Okay. 24! Who oh, look at that! I still won, babe! Yay! And you tried to take away my one last turn, you poop head. I forgot. I read the direction drill. <laughs> so even though I went out first, uh, she was still able to go out. I did help her a couple times because she wouldn't have won if I hadn't reminded her to just eat her bowl. Right. Um, but uh, I, I think this is fun. I'm kind of glad I bought this game. Game. Yeah, it was uh, it was like four or five bucks. Oh, cool. Yeah, so uh, even cheaper than that because I had a bunch of discounts and coupons and crap. So, but uh, yeah, um, thanks for coming. Yes. Uh, do we have any birthdays this week? This upcoming week? Yeah. I'm going to be the big four zero. You're gonna be four years old. Four zero. Oh, I was at zero four. Otherwise known as 50. Yeah. <laughs> 40, 40 is the new 50. <laughs> At least in my mind. Because see how excited I am to turn 40 because I keep telling myself I'm 50? I'm younger than I am. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Happy birthday to the princess. Happy birthday. Birthday, birthday. Happy birthday. And to As always. all my birthday friends birthday friends that I know have the same birthday as me, Chase Wilson, and Mike Wager, and Charles Stadler. Okay. I think that's all of them that I know that have okay. the same birthday as me. Mm -hmm. As always, if you haven't already, please hit that share button and that subscribe button. We're trying to grow the channel. Um, we love all the people that have subscribed already. Thank you for helping us get to where we are. Mm -hmm. We need, uh, we're, half, we're a little over halfway to our first goal. Um, hit that like button. Leave some comments down below. Apparently it helps the algorithm just to comment even if it's cool story, bro, or I don't like that game. So Anything. Just even <laughs> will give us a, something in the algorithm. Christy Sarakowski, my cousin, has the same birthday as me. I knew there was okay. another one. Well, you'll have to share this and tag everyone in it. <laughs> yes. I don't think I'm friends with any of those people, but probably Chase. Yes. Um, Hit that like button, uh, leave some comments, uh, leave us some suggestions down below for some games you'd like to see us play or some drinks you'd like to see us drink. Uh, it doesn't have to be alcoholic, it can be non-alcoholic. 
uh, games can be any kind of games, even if it's an old game that you, you uh, want to see us play or game you've already played and you want to see it again, um, let us know. Just drop that in the comments down below. All right. Thanks for coming. Yeah. See you next week. Cheers. Cheers. Bye.